Hi everyone, welcome back. Now in my last video, I talked a little bit about the basics of photography. So in this video, I will tell you how to tweak the settings that we need in order to take great looking intra oral photos for your portfolio. So cha cha, let's get to it. All right, do we all remember the three terms that we've talked about? Let's review them really quick. So one, we have aperture, which defines the depth of field. And two, we have shutter speed, which controls the motion blur. And lastly, three, we have ISO, which changes the sensitivity to light. Now, down to the details. So in dental photography, we want to shoot in manual mode. Why? Well, in manual mode, we get to control all the three settings that we have been talking about. That way, all your pictures will look great and consistent across the board, which is what we want for your portfolio. So first off, we have aperture. Now, in this type of photography that we're doing, we need a deep depth of field. That way, everything is in focus from the incisors all the way back to the molars. And in order to achieve that, we need a small aperture or a high f-stop number. Alright, something like f22 will do, so let's set our camera to f22. There you go. So, next up, we have shutter speed. Now, we don't want any motion blur at all in our pictures because we want them crisp sharp. And in order to do that, we need to set our shutter speed at something like 1 200th of a second. This way, we can get rid of all the motion blur from shaky hands or from patient movements. Alright, lastly, we have ISO. So generally speaking, we want the lowest ISO possible on all our pictures because that would give us the highest quality without graininess. Now on this camera, the lowest ISO setting is at 100. So let's just set it at that. Now you can go higher on the ISO number depending on the situation, but just keep in mind that the higher you go on the ISO scale, the grainier your image becomes. So you're sacrificing your picture quality. And um, in clinic, uh, the way to avoid that is to just have more light available. So if you use a flash or if you shine the headlight into the patient's mouth, that will give you more light and in your field of view, that way you don't have to bump up the ISO and sacrifice the image quality. Now in summary, these are the three settings that you can start off with. Aperture at f22, shutter speed at 1 200th of a second, and ISO at 100. Now these settings might change depending on the situation, so what I encourage you to do is to just pick up your camera and start shooting because that's the fastest way you'll learn. So, as you can see, understanding the basics can really help with your photography and give you some really great professionally looking photos for you to add to your portfolio. Now, once you've mastered the three settings that we've been talking about all this time, please come back and check out the two articles that I've attached in the description for this video. Now, these two articles were written by other students who are more familiar with clinic and they give some really neat tips and tricks for clinical photography that will bring your photos to the next level. Well, unfortunately, my time is up. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope that this video has given you enough confidence for you to just pick up the camera and start shooting. And once again, my name is Anthony. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.